Okay, welcome to this tutorial on Talia, which is part of my shebang modules for VCB Rack. Now, Talia is um, an arpeggiator with a unique feature in that it has a polyrhythm mode. And I'm going to briefly go through uh, what what this module has to offer as a as a standard arpeggiator. But I'm going to I'm going to spend most of my time on the polyrhythm mode here because it's probably the most confusing. Um, so, um, to start off though, um, my sound source is off screen and then I have my MIDI controller as input here, but let me first talk about this external input. Um, if it's set to CV, if you right click and external clock mode set to CV, then you can use another MIDI controller or the same one, but you, you can, uh, use the volts per octave to control the tempo. So in this case, I'm going to use uh, just my computer keyboard and use the volts in there. And, and uh, so I'm just changing the tempo. notes in a scale and these notes in the scale I'm just playing them on my computer keyboard Now you could have a second MIDI controller to, to control that type of thing if you want um, but um, <clears throat> but that that's always an option now if you want like more kind of a continuous control you can use a clock and we need to switch to a different mode well, where it will be in, I'm going to use 12 PPQN, which stands for pulses per quarter note. And what this will do, whoops, um, is take a pulse from my um, clock here, polyrhythm clock, which is also part of Shebang modules. Um, and it takes 12 pulses before it finally triggers a gate. So it's going to take, so we need to speed this up a lot before it actually works. And I guess turn it on would be a good thing to do. And this is cool because you can really control like um, ascending or uh, accelerating or decelerating tempos. And let's try a faster one right here. Yeah. But anyway, so that's the external input. You know, you could get creative and use like, you know, CV and, and connect like an LFO to it or something. So the tempo keeps changing. But anyway, let's let's move on to the polyrhythm mode. Um, so this this is based on um, um, middle C, um, which is zero volts, and it will always take the tempo of whatever this knob is set to. And everything else is built on a ratio um, from that as sort of the the fundamental. Um, and what that means is, so if I play a middle C right now, that's at 120 BPM, and everything um, everything else will be some ratio of that. Now, if we go over here and look at the chart that's on on the manual, you can see what those ratios will actually be according to their interval in or uh, note in the scale. Um, so let's take something simple. I'm going to play middle C and I'm going to play an octave above, and that will be a ratio of two to one. So that means the rhythm will be for the high note will be twice as fast as the rhythm for middle C. So here's middle C and an octave above. And then of course this works in the opposite direction if we go down an octave. So, 
Um, if we let's try a different one, let's do a perfect fifth, and that's a uh, rhythm of three to two. So that could be something like, um, which which means um, that could be like quarter note triplets in the space of two quarter notes. It basically means three pulses in the space of two pulses. Um, so they don't have to necessarily be quarter notes, but here's middle C. Let's slow it down. There's middle C. So you can kind of hear the, the three against two rhythm happening there. Um, and we can add. Now, if I play the octave below that G, so, um, it, it'll be twice as slow as, as the, the high G because those ratios are still two to one. So, so let's look just, but if, um, let's go back to the three against two. It's almost like uh, well, the triplet becomes s twice as slow. Uh, let's look at some other ones, uh, more complicated ones, because this is when it starts getting interesting. Um, and I particularly kind of I like the ones that are close to each other, like a major second or nine, nine against eight, where it, it kind of can take a while before the cycle repeats itself. Um, so like. A lot of this kind of like flams or that kind of it almost sounds like um, dropping two objects on the floor and then watching them bounce in different ways or something um, minor second. so um, so you can have fun with that and when you start playing chords like get out of phase with each other and then they kind of come back sometimes so. so you can create some interesting rhythms based on that based on the notes um uh oh let me talk about the the octave button here um it's pretty straightforward right now it's all, we're only dealing with uh one octave um so when i when you hear middle c the, it doesn't shift to a different octave if i add if I click the button once, it, it's going to add another octave. So when I start adding other notes like this, they're all going to alternate between uh, one uh, octave and the, and the higher octave at their own rate because the, the rhythms aren't the same. So you get some other, you, you start adding octaves and it starts to create some cool, um, some extra coolness. And I should say, uh, this is one octave, two octaves, three octaves, four octaves, five octaves, and back to one octave. Now, the other thing is, um, in the pattern mode, the arrow up means, um, well, let's listen to it first outside of polyrhythm mode, so it might make a little bit more sense. Um, um, so that's just, the pattern goes up. The pattern goes down. Each note's played twice. 
this as is or as played. So back to going up in polyrhythm mode, what this does is uh, affect the octave. So, uh, um, if I'm if we're doing two octaves, let's just do three octaves. We're doing three octaves, and it's going up. It means um, the lowest note is the note that you play. If we do the opposite and make it go down, then the highest note is the note that you play. So it depends on um, you know where you are on the keyboard, I guess, for this to make sense or be useful, but. But, um, but that's what that does. Um, oh, and then let's see, there's, oh, another polyrhythm mode. So the default is fixed, which means, um, actually let's go back to one. The default mode is fixed, which means, um, the, uh, the middle C or zero volts will be, will take the tempo of whatever the knob is, the tempo knob. Um, and then all the other ratios are based on that note, basically. Um, if I do, if you do movable, then it's the first note that you play where everything is based. Um, so now, now this, this low E that I just played is now the tempo of this knob here. So. Um, if you wanted to actually play some low notes, so like, for example, if you're in fixed mode and you go down here, playing low notes, they're pretty, they're pretty slow. You can always speed the tempo up, but if that's not an option, you can go down here to movable. And now when I play this low C, it's now going to be at that tempo. And, and the same is true if I wanted to play like high notes that, but I didn't want them to be super fast. So anyway. Um, so that pretty much covers the polyrhythm mode for the most part. Um, the other stuff I hope is fairly um, straightforward and understandable. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below the video or go to GitHub and file an issue there. Um, all right. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye.